it going? Great. It looks good. Yep. Good job. So this is our pig that we cut up yesterday. We put him in a stock tank. That's not blood, it's just water with some blood in it. And this is our meat saw. Our meat saw has a built-in grinder. So he is taking all of the scrap pieces of meat and pork, um, fat, and running them through the grinder. You have the seasonings in it. Our local ish feed store sells seasonings also and they have this sausage and meatloaf seasoning mix so we're trying this for our first sausage and we're just making um patty sausage with it i wasn't real keen on washing out the casings and everything so there wasn't time to get um artificial casings ordered so we're just gonna do it this way. It smells really good. So we've just got, got a dual operation going on here for processing the pig. We've set up this little area of our garage and he's been cutting up the pieces here. We have the pig quartered ahead of time. This is the kitchen. And you've seen my heat sealer before. I am heat sealing these in the chicken bags. I cut them down to size and basically we're cutting them about in half. Um, because of the um, air hole that you need, we have to poke an air hole with a knife and then cover it with the um, label. So we're getting these all labeled. Here we've got the ribs going. These all are getting ready to go in for the shrinking. They're gonna go in here, so you've seen that before, but this is our non-USDA certified meat processing facility that is going to feed our family this winter. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Hi, everyone. So things are winding down here with the meat processing, and we're down to bagging the ground sausage. and. Um, we actually cheated and we're using ground beef bags, but I wanted to get the one and a half pound bags. But I wanted to show you a really neat thing that I came across um, by accident, and it's the taping machine. You get these rolls of tape, and you load them right up onto the machine. You stick your uh, end of your bag right in there, and it tapes it, and it's got a cutter here on the other side um, for cutting off any excess on the bag. So it works really neat. And this is what we end up with right here. So we're learning a lot of this as we go, like most people. You know, we're not professional butchers or meat processors. And a lot of the things that we've learned, we have learned from books, uh, looking things up online. And we try out a lot of books at the library, and then I purchase the books that we like. So these are a couple of books that I have found really useful to us. Um, this basic butchering of livestock and, stock and game um, is really simple and has lots of good suggestions. And this is a much older book, but The Canning, Freezing, and Curing, and Smoking of Meat, Fish, and Games. And it kind of breaks down in here a little bit how to um, process each section of meat. So that's been really useful for us also. A lot of recipes and things like that for uh, canning and freezing the meat also. So here we're gonna show you the closing of the bag. I need a little more. You can see he packs the bag in um, so that you have less air space because we're not vacuum packing or sealing these in any kind of shrink material at all.
Isn't that slick? Works great. <laughs> Your shirt has blood all over it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If we can answer any questions for you, feel free to ask. <laughs>